For years, I raised money for charities, amazing organizations like the Cleveland Clinic and Case Western Reserve and Salvation Army. And after 20 some years of that, I decided I would really want to do something that I was truly passionate about. And with the support of my husband and my family, I went to culinary school, Akazi, go Akazi, um, in Chesterland. And um, I graduated and I did an uh, internship and externship at a local bakery and I knew that I ultimately wanted my own place where I could just be creative and have fun. And you know, they always say that if you love what you do, you never go to work. This is real work. <laughs> no kidding, I mean, it's 17 hour days but I never feel like I'm here more than an hour. I wish everybody could have this experience once in their life. Like come to work and know you are making other people's lives a little sweeter. I know that sounds corny, but I really do believe that. And we get to do cool things like try vegan food, try to make vegan desserts and try to make gluten-free. We have a great gluten-free following. Um, I create cakes that are beyond people's imagination. Um, and they're one of a kind, so they take it home and, and people ooh and ah, and I just know that that's because of me. That's, that's a pretty awesome, it's pretty awesome. We went through a zillion different names, and finally my husband said, I think it's a great name, just because it's different and people, it's unexpected. Um, and then we wanted it to do kind of a riff on Rosie the Riveter and bring it into a, like a modern version. So we stuck a pink bandana on the lady behind us, and. That's it. So here we are, pink bandana. We always have French macarons. I make those in the morning. We always have a cookie of the month. Um, we do mini bunt cakes, gluten-free and regular. Uh, we do brookies, which is our number one selling thing, which is a brownie with a chocolate chip cookie baked together, covered in ganache with another chocolate chip cookie on top of it, covered in ganache. So when you take it home, you put it in the microwave for a couple seconds, put some vanilla ice cream on it, it is just ridiculous. I try to make things that I know people would like. I try them, as you can see. <laughs> but um, you know, people want bread. They typically think a bakery should just be about bread and you know, things that the old traditional bakery, bakeries did. My goal is to be like a community place where people come, they have something sweet to eat. We talk about what's happening in their lives. We know their dogs. We know our neighbors, uh, like bakeries used to be, you know, like a place people would go and talk to the baker about what's going on. And I, I've been challenged. I've had customers come in and say, can you make me a three-dimensional boot on a cake? And I'm like, Never have done it, but I sure can try. And can you put a chicken on a cake? And I made a three-dimensional chicken sitting on a nest. So that keeps me excited and active about wanting to come to work. And I hope I continue to have customers ask me to make them something special.